नमस्कार आई एम एस्ट्रोलॉजर एंड वास्तु कंसल्टेंट रिधि बेहल प्रैक्टिसिंग वास्तु फ्रॉम ओवर मोर देन 16 इयर्स नाउ माय ग्रेट ग्रैंडफादर वाज एस्ट्रोलॉजर टू द किंग ऑफ जयपुर आई होल्ड अ डिग्री ऑफ पीएचडी बोथ इन एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड वास्तु इन द ईयर 2018 आई वाज फेलिसिटेटेड बाय द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया फॉर माय कंट्रीब्यूशन इन दिस फील्ड सो टॉकिंग अबाउट वास्तु वास्तु कंप्राइजेस ऑफ टू वर्ड वास एंड तू मींस वेयर वास जहां तू वास करता है मींस वेयर यू रिजाइड सी वास्तु लॉट ऑफ पीपल यू नो आस्क मी दिस क्वेश्चन एंड देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ कंफ्यूजन रिलेटेड टू वास्तु दैट हाउ डज वास्तु एग्जैक्टली वर्क इज इट लॉजिकल is it scientific or is it just a you know uh, dogma or just set of principles which people have been following from years and uh, there stands no logic behind it is it so i'm sure this question must be in your mind also well today i'll be explaining to you everything talking about the scientificness and the logic of the subject i would say a big yes it's absolutely scientific and all the principles of vastu are logical as well so how does vastu operate and what is the role of a vastu consultant uh, you all are aware of the five elements the panch tatva that we call everything in this earth is made up of those five elements be it the plants be it the animals be it you or me uh, we all know that these five elements have an important role to play as far as our health is concerned in ayurveda you must have heard of the terms kapha vat and pith what is the kapha vat and pith it is basically water air and fire the five elements that i was mentioning i'm sure most of you know but still let me tell you the five elements are water air fire earth and sky whenever there is an imbalance of any of these elements in our body it leads to illness like there is 72% water in our body if the 72% becomes 65% we fall sick if the 72% becomes 80% then also we fall sick so see how important role these elements are playing in a body same way these elements have a role to play in the structure that we use be it our residence be it our office so this is how vastu operates this is just the very first step we all know about the four directions in vastu these we call these as the four main directions east west north and south these four directions are further divided into four sub directions then these sub sub directions further we divide into further sub directions so when we work on a uh, structure in vastu we divide the entire structure into 16 directions every 22 degree the direction changes now talking about the five elements i said you know that these five elements have a role to play in our structure each direction is aligned with a element for example north north is water element south south is fire element east east is air element now how do these elements you know play a role in the structure this must be the question in your mind see each element with a direction has certain attributes which has a role to play in the structure again that structure can be your office or can be your residence i'll give an example and i'll make you understand you'll be able to understand better with that uh, like north i said north is water element now suppose in a structure you know north is say reduced i'll explain you what do i mean by the term reduced as we go further suppose if north is less in that structure or north is reduced then what will happen now north direction we i said is a water element and water is i said related to health so north we relate with health north we also relate with money inflow of money kehte na paisa pani ki tarah beh gaya aaya hi nahi chala gaya so money we relate with water north we relate with growth and opportunities in life getting the right opportunities at the right time is determined by north so suppose in a structure if north is less what will happen so what will happen is that the inmates living in that complex or in that structure or people you know having a office in that structure will experience ill health there will be you know no flow of proper money 
also people will not get opportunities there suppose what if suppose north is extended like i said north is responsible for flow of money i said if north is less you might say then let us extend north and let us invite more money right this might be the question in your mind well suppose if north is more you know north is extended as we say what will happen people you know using that structure they will be very health conscious they will be be extra health conscious the focus of their life will be just health 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 as far as money is concerned it will make a person may very ambitious ambitious to the extent that the person will become very selfish that is why in an office we say that don't make your staff more, your important staff sit in north people who are sitting in north in office will be very self centered they will just think about their own growth their own personal interest rather than thinking of the interest of the company so this is what happens when a direction is either extended or exhausted that means i mean if it is less you all must be knowing that you know uh, sun rises in the east and sets in the west and it travels via south southeast is the direction when the sun is at its peak the sunlight at its peak the heat is at its peak that is generally 12 o'clock in the morning when the sun is at its uh, southeast from 12 to 2 sun remains in southeast as i said it is the uh, it is the time when the heat is at its maximum this is southeast is called the agni kon the fire area where is fire in the house the fire in the house is in the kitchen that is why it is said that you should have the kitchen in the southeast direction so aren't you finding it logical yes so like this like i explained you about the north direction the south direction i can explain you about the attributes of each and every direction that how each and every direction is associated with an element and how these element and directions clubbed in together has an impact on the inmates who are using that particular structure these 16 zones cover the 16 aspects of the life of an individual be it health be it relationship be it money be it growth be it business right so this is how vastu operates so what does a vastu consultant do now when a vastu consultant you know visits a structure uh from the floor plan tries to find out that what is the situation of the 16 directions like i said if a direction is exhausted or whether a direction is extended which direction is extended so the vastu consultant tries to balance these directions you know tries to get the the structure in harmony with the five elements when a structure is in harmony with the five elements it will have a positive impact on the inmates who are living or using that structure so this is how vastu works this is how the vastu principle relate fusion if you know the vastu principles are so uh, scientific and logical well i would say you know uh, like i i give an example to a lot of people i'll give an example here to you also if a doctor is not able to diagnose a problem doesn't means medical science is at fault same thing applies with vastu also so it is the person who is you know uh, practicing or uh, you know who we are consulting if his or her knowledge is uh, not that good or you know uh, is that is a question mark then doesn't means that vastu is at fault or vastu principles are not logical or vastu principles do not benefit vastu principles do benefit uh the classics of vastu like uh, vishvakarma prakash that is one of the classical books of vastu mai matam so mai matam specifically mentions uh, in detail about the doors the placement of the doors in a structure why specifically doors why did i talk about doors specifically see as i was talking about the 16 directions in 16 directions there are 32 entrances so this classical book mai matam has two chapters dedicated specially to the entrances entrance is very very important entrance is like you know a face in a human body why is face so important face is important because out of the five uh, sense organs the four important sense organs are on the face the fifth one being skin which is also you know forms a part of the face so you know like the all the sense organs are on the face uh, therefore the face holds important same is with the door door is also important as per what has been mentioned in my matam that door is the place you know it's not a place sorry door is the structure which connects you with the outside world and connects the outside world with you so it's very very important also door is a protection 
you know it protects you it protects you from enemies it protects you from you know uh, insects from flies from you know viruses from germs so many things you know the door acts as a barrier the how should be or what should be the placement of the door it has been very clearly mentioned why a particular placement of a door holds importance that is also very very important when we talk about doors even windows play a very important role why doors and windows specifically because doors and windows are a fixed feature in a structure whereas you know the other things we can still uh, you know uh, manipulate with or we can you know still move them but once the structure is built the doors and windows are built it's very difficult to remove them it's not impossible certainly but then it becomes very tedious if you have you know if you have to remove a particular door like i said in the beginning you know the sun rises in the east sets in the west travels via south we all know the importance of the benefits of the rising sunlight or the rising sun rays so if you have a window in the east it is always advisable that you should have a window and the window in the east should be you know comparatively of a larger size or of a bigger size so that lot of uh, you know sunlight can enter your house nowadays you must have heard and we all know aware that you know depression is really on rise and one of the biggest reason of depression is that we are getting away from the nature and natural light and sunlight plays a very important role when it comes to our mental health nowadays you know uh, because of the ac culture the doors are permanently closed i go to a lot of people a lot of places where you know i have uh, i do vastu and people tell me this only because of the ac because of central ac the place being you know we cannot open the doors now which is very uh, we cannot open the windows now which is uh, you know not advisable as for vastu the reason be health reason as well as the mental as well as the mental health you know we working late hours working for late in the night again we are going away from the nature when we are going away from the nature it will certainly have an impact and as i said in the beginning it will not just have an impact on the human body it will also have an impact on the structure and that impact of the structure will eventually have an impact on the human body the functioning and whatever activity you are carrying in that particular structure in a residence it might might have problems with the relationship issue it might have health issue in a office it might have you know problems uh, as far as your business growth is concerned so doors and windows play a very very important role in fact uh, i was just browsing through the products of tata pravesh and i saw uh, and i found their doors uh, and windows very you know apt uh, as per the vastu goes i saw you know that they have doors which are uh, uh, with the windows specifically have collapsible you know shutters the doors are you know double door fly mesh doors which kind of prevents the entry of germs and uh, insects in the house also the metal see in vastu when i'm talking of um, i'm basically talking about how the structure we are aligning with the nature metals also are a part of nature and metals also play a very important role when we talk about vastu suppose if you have a east entrance you know if you have a east facing a uh, east facing entrance put it a stainless steel door there will do good or if a ent uh, entrance is in the north then having a um, uh, you know element of aluminium there you know metal aluminium if you incorporate there at the entrance door it will do good same thing applies with windows also like i was talking about windows the placement of windows so suppose if you have a window in the east it is always good and advisable to have a bigger and a larger window in the east for the reason that a lot of sunlight gets in south also you should have a bigger window country like india where we are blessed to have four seasons so people living in north uh, experience harsh winters so if you have a window in south it will keep the house warm windows in the west although uh, as per my matam it says that there should not be a window in the west but in case if you have a window in west it should be a smaller window compared to a window in the east and south for the reason that sun sets in the west so the rays of the setting sun are not that good rather they are harmful so those rays should not come in the structure so this is how the windows operate now talking about the entrance doors i said that there are 32 points now uh, these 32 points certain points are very good and certain points are not so good also uh, through this uh, platform i would like to clarify one thing you know uh, one question rather a very strong myth you know that a lot of people ask me especially people who are in the construction industry that if a property is south facing it is bad and if a property is north facing it is good well let me tell you no direction is absolutely a good direction and no direction is absolutely a bad direction
Every direction has its own qualities, and like I said, a country like India, we are blessed with four seasons. So every season, you know, every each direction becomes good. Like in north, uh, like in summers, north is good. Like in winters, south is good. So where did this theory come from, and how does it impact? As per Vishwakarm Prakash, where this theory is written, where it is being mentioned about you know north facing property and south facing property, the reason given there is, like I said, sun rises in the east, sets in the west. and travels via south in north there is no sun there is no sunlight there is no direct sunlight so if you have a north facing property your house will remain cool and in our country we experience more of summers than winters and certain part of the countries don't experience winters at all so if you have a north facing property it is going to be good for the reason that it will be a cooler property whereas if you have a south facing property it's going to be a warm property but believe me it has nothing to do with luck that you know north facing is lucky and south facing is unlucky in fact people who are in real estate or who are into construction industry for them south is a very favorable direction because it is ruled by the planet mars and mars we directly link with property and real estate so if you are into business of real estate and you have a south facing property believe me it's going to be very good in fact mr bachchan both his houses are south facing so see and south is the direction for fame and popularity also so saying that south facing is bad and north facing is good no it's not so and as i said every direction has certain good points and certain not so good points same thing applies for entrances also when i said you know there are 32 entrance points entrance points so there are certain points which are good and there are certain points which are not so good this is where the vastu comes that you know we should uh, you know choose the, uh, which is a good entrance point also apart from the elements the metals also play a important role like i told you if you have a east facing property putting a south uh, putting sorry if you have a east facing property putting a stainless steel door or a door which has little element of stainless steel in it it will do well for uh, north aluminium is the metal for south brass is the metal right for west iron is the metal and tata pravesh in fact has all these metals doors and windows available with them so that's a very big usp right so this is how you know uh, vastu doors and windows play a very very important role now vastu was written some 5000 years back now 5000 is a very very long time the construction done in that era in that time was very different from the way things are done now uh, i see a lot of changes uh, 50 years also is a long time now in last 10 years there has been revolutionary changes when it comes to construction industry you know things are very very different now so how do you know uh, we keep the traditional vastu in mind and is it how applicable is that traditional vastu in nowadays times you know this is one question that a lot of people ask me see uh, as for the traditional vastu uh, the description given of a structure is that the structure should be open from the center that is the brahmasthan should be open to sky the toilet should be really you know far away from where the uh, where you are living the kitchen should be in another corner of the house and toilets and um, uh, bathroom and the uh, kitchen should be pole apart you know it should be in two different directions they should not be too close but is that possible now with uh, you know the space constraints and uh, with now the house sizes really shrinking you know is it possible to have something like that it is not possible i have uh, you know been since i've been practicing this for past 16 years and i have been a part of lot of vastu researches now what were these vastu researches all about these vastu researches were these researches where we applied the traditional principles in the modern construction and we were successful and we saw you know the results were really amazing another thing you know where uh, people are very apprehensive about taking vastu services is that they feel you know once a vastu consultant is involved he or she might you know change the design you know will not consider the practicality of the structure or you know there will be a lot of tod ford vastu wala aa gaya to kahega darwaza idhar kar do khidki udhar kar do kamra udhar kar do which is practically not possible and also is very cost bearing well uh, let me tell you i specialize in giving remedies and doing vastu which does not involve any structural change well yes there are remedies and there are solutions which are simple doable and very easy and practical as well doesn't necessarily involves you know uh, doing um, structural changes or uh, doing illogical things like putting a pyramid or you know putting some um, uh, laughing um, 
face or some crying face you know all this doesn't works to be very honest i explained you it is all scientific and logical the uh, solutions are also scientific and logical so talking about the modern construction you know how does vastu uh, works in a modern construction so like i said you know that uh, uh, in the ancient text uh, it has been clearly written that there should be no toilet attach uh, no toilet close to the stru uh, the structure but nowadays we have uh, you know every room has an attached toilet and that is the need of the hour right it's not practical to have a toilet separately so uh, we did lot of research on this and then i found out that having a Uh, you know toilet attached with the bath uh, with the bedroom is doing no harm to the inmates it is actually the direction which is playing an important role in that northeast direction specifically north if you have a toilet in the northeast direction that was you know affecting the health of the inmates in this house so now what do we do suppose if we have to you know make a suppose if the orientation of the structure is that that the bathroom falls in the northeast direction well in that case you can you know play with the pot seat the position of the pot seat like i said you know the structure is 360 degrees and we have 16 directions so if you divide 360 by 16 what you get is 22 degrees so each direction is 22 degrees so suppose if the bathroom is coming in the northeast no problem you can have the bath bathing area you can have the washing area in the northeast but the pot seat orientation can be done in such a way that the pot seat doesn't comes in the northeast direction now that this just the northeast we have to be very careful uh, there is exactly uh, no remedy if you have a toilet in the northeast that i have found out in my research that it leads to health problem rest anywhere in the house you have a toilet or you have you know the bedroom there are remedies available for that and as i said remedies which involve no structural change another thing that one has to be careful is that having kitchen in the north direction like i said in the beginning north direction represents water element right and kitchen is where the fire is in the house so when we are getting fire and water together it ought to create problem so one should just check this that there should be no kitchen in the north direction now again comes the question what if we have to make then what then simple you can keep the gas burner in the direction which is not exactly north so 0 degree to 22 degrees is exact north so you can shift the position of the burner and you know this the remedy is done so it's as simple and as doable you know like i'm mentioning it to you so vastu you know is uh, again i would say it's very simple very easy very doable for builders you know getting making a vastu compliant structure is a usp certainly uh, the right time to incorporate vastu is certainly at the time of construction because it saves you know a lot of time and energy but in case if you are not able to do it and you already have a structure but you feel that you know it is not vastu compliant or you having some problems you know in that structure then also as i said remedies can be done and you can you know uh, achieve your target or you know you can really uh, help the inmates living a happy life or any you know commercial property owner building lot of minting lot of profits staying in that particular um, uh, using that particular structure also you know a uh, lot of people come and ask me about bedroom about the position of bedroom that the bedroom should be in the southwest only is it so master bedroom has to be in the southwest is it so see southwest is the zone for relationship certainly having a master bedroom in the southwest is good but that doesn't means that the other directions are bad like for a businessman west is a very good direction why because west is the direction for profitability in a business what do you aim for you want is profits so having a bedroom in the west for a businessman will do very well like i said people who are related uh, uh, you know related to the field of construction or real estate for them having a bedroom in the south will do very well you know people who are uh, who are have connections with the government or working with the government or are politicians or you know are popular figures for them having a east bedroom is wonderful so like this you know each and every direction has its own qualities and has its own attributes right so we should not be fixed to the old age principles see with changing times lot of things have changed the way we live the way we move the way you know uh, we eat lot of things have changed so vastu also has to change with changing times where this problem of you know vastu not working or vastu being uh, you know being superstition comes from is that people still stick to that age old principle and become very rigid 
certainly those principles and if you read the texts of vastu those principles are again very scientific and very logical what vastu's vastu's aim is is just to align the structure with the nature with the five elements that's it you know the elements are the same the directions are the same it's just that the way we have you know evolved over the period of time vastu also needs to be evolved and if it is you know applied uh, logically and practically it can really give it can really do wonders in a uh, you know in an individual's house or in an office so friends like i said this 16 zones cover the 16 aspects rather which 16 aspects are rather all the aspects of life so if your structure is aligned you know with uh, the five elements and these the 16 zones are well balanced in your life i can certainly assure you a happy healthy and a prosperous life so apply vastu the correct way and lead a happy life thank you so much